We're super, super, super excited to have you guys here. Um, it's an exciting project season for us. Everyone has briefs, so you all know what it is that we're doing. Very, very lucky to be able to, to partner with all of you in the room, and we'll be tackling everything from um, showing film screenings with DocuBox, an exhibition of some of these images and, and all the stuff that we've been digitizing with the Nest Collective. Um, Warimunduba will be working on like the music aspect of things, which is super exciting. Professor Kimani Jogu will be working with us on what we're calling the missing bits audio storytelling, so that we can literally ask members of the public to come into the library spaces and to start recording their own versions of history, so kind of tapping into public memory and popular memory. Um, but also people can just come in and digitize their own personal collections. Today we're having an endline workshop for the second round of digitization. Uh, we're assessing the data, looking at the quality of the work we've produced and making any corrections um, that we need to make before we submit the data into the archive. It's been a very interesting process, working with a new team of um, staff uh, that's different from last year, um, seeing the ways in which they have grown in confidence within the digitization process and how they are now basically pros at the whole thing. Something interesting that I have found during this project is just how much of our history is accurate uh, actually documented and how much we as Kenyans do know about. What I have learned is that there is a lot, a lot of history to be discovered by future generations, history that is mostly untouched. So I think that the work we are doing is quite important for generations to come because they're going to learn what we are learning right now because personally I didn't know majority of what I have found in the newspaper articles and I am excited to see how other people will find out about them, how they will enjoy them, how they will share them. We're here to unearth these hidden histories in our present day imagination and to explore what has changed and what hasn't changed in our media reporting and to trace the threads that, alive, that remain alive today. Today we had a conversation on uh, co colonial legacy on media reporting and uh, for me I think it's a conversation we needed to have a long time ago. I think what really stood out for me was the conversation about who dictates the editorial agenda. Is it the you know, journalists and the media houses? I'm a former journalist, I also do a lot of media development work. The Missing Bits project I think is such a valuable tool and I think it goes beyond even what they're doing with the libraries. I'd like to see everybody across the country just documenting their own experiences because they're so valuable. Hi, my name is Jonathan B. I'm the communications manager at Bookbank. We have a series of um, events that are tied to the work that we've been doing, digitizing the archives of the library. So we are asking everyone to join us and to kind of add to the archive in fresh and exciting ways. We have digitization stations, so you can bring all your personal archives, collections, photographs and letters, etc., from home and come digitize them at the library. Um, we also have audio storytelling booths, so you can come tell us your stories, oral memories of what Kenyan life was like in the 70s and 80s, what fashion were you wearing, what music were you listening to, what pop culture references do you remember from that time, um, and also about Kenya's independence if you're, you know, alive around that time. Um, we have film screenings that are running out throughout the day. This we've done in collaboration with DocuBox. Um, so super exciting stuff that's tied to the archive, that's tied to our history, to our memory, our past, present, and how we archive and remember things. Um, we've just finished our panel session, which was a beautiful session about building digital libraries that was curated, co-curated with um, Baraza Media Lab, and so much more. I think, um 
One of the best lessons for me in the making of this work was really that art and culture allows us to move between temporalities. Like we can exist in 66, but also 72, but also um, 2021 and 2022. My name is Renee Akitelekmboya. I'm a filmmaker from Nairobi. Um, we've just screened my film, A Glossary of Words My Mother Never Taught Me. And it's a film that uses archives to expound on the post-colonial moment um, in East Africa. My name is Mbwe Gave. I am the screenings manager at DocuBox. We're really excited to be a part of this great initiative um, of screening films, different films of different uh, themes um, in the different uh, libraries, public spaces in Nairobi. And we hope that um, out of, as a result of this and more people watching the films that we'll have really good interactive um, engagements with the library users. Yeah, I'm so glad I came today. Um, Renee's film was really intense, <laughs> very impactful. Um, I think certainly there are aspects of our history that we don't like to think about or we don't necessarily like to acknowledge. Um, but Renee crafted it in such a artful <laughs> way, you know, the, the juxtaposition of um, history, but also raising the questions of what does this mean for us today and what do we do with what has happened to us generations before and how does that play out um, in our current circumstances and um, I think like any good piece of art it, it asks more questions than it, than it answers and um, yeah I would really encourage everybody to get a chance to see it. It's going to be interesting to see how, as cultural memory evolves, how do we curate generations? And maybe what we shouldn't feel is the burden to uh, curate the national, but just take the slices as they come and put them together. And out of that, the national story as some kind of um, a kilt, almost, will form, right? I love these spaces. I love moments like this because you feel that you're a community of something, that it matters, that the work that we do has audiences, that the work that we do has um, people who want to do it with you, that there's a network. So this for me was uh, part of the highlight of today. And of course, contributing to what Bookbank is trying to do and to give it understanding, I think for me is important because the world of books uh, is a social space. It's a cultural space and how we collect, what we collect, and what we do with it. Uh, they are big questions. We can only answer them by coming together to do the kind of thing that we did today. I liked the conversation about the dynamism of culture, that, that culture is not something that is static. We are always creating culture. Every moment uh, we are um, expressing ourselves, we are um, you know, showing how our lives are, and that culture is something that is passed on uh, but also being created all the time. I think that what Bookbank is doing in terms of actually capturing, you know, the missing bits uh, in different forms, whether it is on video, whether it is in audio forms, or whether through exhibitions and so on, is very important for the current generations as well as the future generations. I think that there's so much to do, there's so much um, room still and so much uh, left to do in order to preserve history. on the arts and sports. Those three are key to any society's success. When you travel outside there, you can see that it's all over the place. The statues, the museums, everything, and you're constantly being reminded about the past. Some people will say that, well, the past is gone. Uh, we are done with that, but this is not true. Because tomorrow is not possible without yesterday. Yes, and yesterday must be respected. So the mistakes that we made yesterday, the achievements that we, that we did, will reflect upon our, our future. So, um, if I've not lost myself, where we are is we must, all of us, get into this. Government policies and us, ourselves. That we, we, we have to really dig deep in, inside ourselves and get that passion mm. to tell our history, to love it, 
to love our uh, traditions and culture and everything. And we shall be on the right path. Thank you so much. I hope you had a good time.